Okay, so this is going to be my first video. Um, making it more for myself, but thought I would also put it out here on my own YouTube channel. So, for to kick it off, first off, I am Amy, and I, two years ago, started my own antique booth. And my booth is called Southern Chick Finds, and I've had a great time um, with my booth, meeting a lot of people, um, and just being able to share my finds with them. So where do I find these things? All over the place, whether it be a yard sale, an estate sale, picking through um, dirty buildings, um, Goodwill, um, auctions, you name it, wherever I can find um, my items. And so anyhow, I've shared them at my booth and I have come to the conclusion that when you are a picker, sometimes your inventory is rather large and it just keeps growing and growing and growing and growing and that's kind of where I am and so there are a few options one slow down <laughs> that is not gonna happen <laughs> so I need to look at other options one is to open up another booth um, at the antique mall where I currently am and um, which I absolutely love um, the name of that antique mall is A&W Collectibles in Keswick, Virginia, and we have a great time there. So many wonderful people, and um, honestly, I would not look to go anywhere else. Um, I live here in a rural area, and I'm not looking to travel to other places um, to open up a booth somewhere else, and so um, kind of that option isn't really there for me. One of the things that we do is we take one day out of the month, and we work at the shop um, and I'm a full-time teacher and I just don't have that additional day where I'd like to work um, at the shop. So I've kind of taken that off the table for right now. And so I've been looking at other avenues and one of those avenues is YouTube, is not YouTube, is eBay. And so um, that's what I'm gonna talk about today. And so I'm probably gonna say things on here and those of you who are already resellers on eBay, you're gonna be like, girl, you're gonna learn that that is wrong. And you know what? The teacher in me says that's okay because I have to learn those things. I have to go through those waters um, to know what's right for me. And so anyhow, I've been doing a lot of researching and learning and I have listed as of last night, my first items on eBay. And so um, I'm gonna encourage you to go and check out what I've been doing and kind of give me some tips um, or just see maybe it's something you're interested in yourself. And so you can find me there um, as Southern Chick Finds as well. Now I have not opened a store there, I'm just listing my items. Currently I've been choosing to list items as um, auction items, so open for bid, not for um, buy it now. And the reason for that is because I have inventory constantly coming in here, I'd like to see my inventory constantly going out or consistently going out. And that's what I'm hoping is going to happen um, through the use of eBay. And um, so anyhow, so that's why I've chosen to do that. And so I do know that that might mean that there are times when my items are going to sell for less than what I was anticipating. And let's be real, there are going to be times when those items sell for more than what um, I'm anticipating. Now, I know that my average price that I spend on an item, if I was to average out all of my purchases over a month's time, my average spending is 2 to $3 on an item. So I do not spend um, a lot. I'm looking at the resale value. I'm looking to purchase something that I know is going to move. So what's hot in my area and also what's my thing? What's my job? Um, I'm not looking to um, buy things that I wouldn't necessarily want to keep for myself either. So that's kind of um, how I pick. And so I've gotten, you know, good at knowing the price and is that cost effective to purchase something. So things that I've learned. Um, one thing that I have found is that you need to be a good listener of people who have already gone through and kind of figured this out. Um, I did that with my booth. And um, because of that, I've been successful there. And I just um, really appreciate people being willing to support me with that. And so I've purchased a couple things to start me off with my eBay. Now, what have I bought? Very simple, because I'm all about keeping it simple. 
I did purchase a photo box. Now my photo box was not one of the $150 photo boxes because I said, I'm trying this, right? I'm gonna see if this works for me. So I bought a smaller one, um, kind of like a portable one. I think they're all kind of portable, but this one folds up and down and has different colors you can put in there. Now, so far I'm only drawn to using white um, or black. Those are kind of, um, I, again, I'm all about keeping it simple. And so I did purchase that. I spent $18 on it. So as you can tell, uh, did I buy a high quality one? No, I did not. And that's okay because again, I feel like I'm seeing if this is gonna work for me. What else did I purchase? I went on Amazon and I bought some newsprint um, paper. I bought 500 sheets. And again, I spent $20 on that. I also bought some bubble wrap. I could not tell you how many feet are on there. I know it's two rolls. I want to say each roll was 100 feet. And again, I spent, I think that was less than $20. So I'm still under the $100 and I'm not going above that. <laughs> that is my um, cap for getting started. I went on the postal service site and I ordered myself lots of the um, free boxes there, the envelopes there. I mainly ordered the priority. I ordered a couple flat right. I've done some digging in on that and learning more about shipping and, um, you know, kind of learning from all of that. I already had a pair of digital scales here at the house. Um, not that I stand on, but like that you can weigh things on. So I did not have to make that purchase, <clears throat> but that would have been something that I would have bought. And again, I would have kept it on the less expensive side. I have not looked into buying a thermal printer yet because I'm seeing how this goes. I have a laser printer here at the house that I use um, as a teacher to print my own things off that I've made that purchase um, prior to this, um, just because that I needed it as a teacher. Um, <laughs> and my children use it to print off their things for school. So I'm gonna use that and I'll be cutting out the old fashioned way and taping um, the labels on for right now. Now, as I go down the road, I might want to um, invest in a thermal printer tape. I also have to get some tape, right? I already had scissors. So I think that kind of gets me going. And then of course my phone. Okay, so what have I done? Well, I already have items um, that I have picked over um, because I have my booth, right? So I decided to, that I was gonna list three items. Um, I listed three items last night as um, I told you a minute ago for auction. Let me grab those items and show you what I listed. Hold on, because I've set them over here on this table. Now, all of my items I would say are probably hardware. I am um, not doing clothing. I, there might be some times here and there when I have some stitchery pieces, some old linen. Um, things that I might end up posting um, as we go down the road. So we'll have to see how that goes. But the first items that I listed were these two Studio Pottery mugs. And they are signed by the artist. I don't know if you can see that. On the bottom. I thought these were really cool. Um, great pieces. They have a turquoise blue glaze, kind of like a drip glaze going around them. And so I thought these were great. I just, when I saw them, I thought they're perfect. They kind of, they'll stack on top of each other if you wanted to do that. Um, they'd be great to have at either work or in your home. And so I listed those at a start um, price of $4. And that was the first item that I listed. And the next item that I listed, and I might need to use this so you can see it. Can you see that? Okay, it was a crystal, diamond cut crystal, and it is a signed piece. Where's the signature on there? I don't have my glasses on, which is probably not good to try to do this without my glasses. Can you see the signature on there? Maybe if I hold this behind it, you can. I don't know. Can you? Well, you can tell that it's signed right there. Okay. By Olg Sin... What was it? Sin... Sinny, something like that. I know I'm not saying this right, and that's okay because I can't even remember how he spelled it, and I don't have my glasses with me here. And then the other item that I found 
that I wanted to post. Can you see that? It's a six by eight vintage dried flower wall art that's done. Okay, it has a navy velvet behind it and these great pieces that are in there. I just thought this was wonderful. I loved that. So those were the three things that I posted. Now, I wanted to keep it simple. That's what I'm all about. I want, I'm learning. So I've been um, kind of a stalker <laughs> right now, and I think everybody would be. Um, I've been stalking to see what has been, of those three items, been getting the most views. And so this is what I've been learning. What have people been looking at? The mugs. What did I think they would be looking at? The mugs. Because y'all, Art Studio Pottery is just hot right now. People are all into that. Um, they're excited about that. What else have they been looking at? Almost as equal, the crystal, okay? This is a nice piece. I got this out of um, an estate sale. It was a collector who had some crystal. I bought some other pieces um, there as well. Where did these two, and oh, I guess I could tell you. I paid $2.50 for this. Probably a little more than what I would have normally spent on it. I don't know, but I'm just saying um, $2.50 is what I spent on that. The set of mugs I spent $5 on because I really liked them and they were signed on the bottom. And so that would be what, $2.50 a piece. This lovely here was $2. Okay, so all together, what is that? Five, two, two. So ten fifty is what I spent on those three items. Or I guess you'd say three items I listed, but four items separately. So not bad at all. Now I will tell you this. Um, I was gonna list four items and I got really frustrated last night. Okay, and what did I get frustrated about? And we'll go back to what I was talking about a few minutes ago, was the photo box because the photo box that I bought. Y'all, it's too small. It's like, I don't know. I have to measure it later. Oh, wait, I have a ruler right here. Let's see if I can tell you. Yeah, it's like nine and a half, okay, inches. So, um, yeah, what was I thinking? I wasn't thinking, okay? And I'll admit that. <laughs> so I had wanted to also post this piece of pottery from Ireland. Beautiful piece, okay? It is signed on the bottom. It has the studio there from Ireland where it was made. But y'all, look at this, okay? How gorgeous. And did I buy them at the same time? No, I did not. I just love that. Love it, love it, love it. I paid three dollars for this vase. Um, this I'm going to get listed soon. I'm just going to have to figure out how to make it look pretty, okay? So, it took me a while to post last night. It was easy to use my phone. I got the eBay app on here, and I worked through that and <clears throat> just did all the things, took the pictures with it, had the photo light lights on, figured out the shipping, all of those things, wrote some great descriptions. It took me over an hour to list those three. Why? Because I'm learning. I'm learning about what categories to use, what language to use, um, and I want to be specific about the items because I believe that when you tell people everything that you know about the item and you have that integrity and that honesty, then they're going to be happy with their items and it's going to let this business venture be positive for both my buyers and for myself. And that's what this is all about. It's helping people find great finds that they're excited to find because let's be real what are we all doing when we go out and we're we're right we're these resellers we're picking to make a profit okay we want everyone in the end to be happy and excited about what they're getting from you because you're going to fall in love with this opportunity right and we also want them to fall in love with what you have okay so i want to share a couple things with you that i was debating about mm listing last night. One was this trinket box. Okay, so, okay, really cute. All right, I love that, but I did not end up listing it. All right, I don't know. I just, I didn't. I think I'm going to put this in my booth instead. I've been selling a lot of little heart things in my booth fairly quickly, and so I think I'd rather sell that there um, so I don't have to fool with the shipping of it. 
I absolutely love this agate slice pendant that has the wire wrap. I absolutely love this, y'all. Oh my gosh, gorgeous. But when I was looking at the comps on eBay, it just wasn't there. And I felt like, you know what? If you were somebody, a reseller on eBay, and you had a following, you could get some decent money for this. If you don't have a following, you're not. And I think I'm going to get more by having this at my booth than I will on eBay. Now that's, like I said, I might be learning and finding out differently later. And then the other piece that I was going to list and decided not to was this necklace, this choker. And oops, I just dropped that. I'm not going to hook it because I'm just going to show you. This is gorgeous. And I'm not sure that this is the right season to sell this necklace. And so I'm going to wait um, until that season is right. But that is a beautiful vintage kind of boho beachy um, piece. So anyhow, that's where I am. Who knows what's going to happen um, with those items that I listed. I'm planning to list a couple more this evening to see how that goes. I'm also going to um, go out and do some more picking today. And at some point, I want to share with you my weekend haul. Y'all, I got some great stuff over the weekend. And so I'm going to be sharing that on here also. So have a wonderful, what is today, Tuesday, and I will see y'all soon.